student welcome to the course of power generation system uh, today we are going to see some example uh, related to hydro power station uh, in our previous uh, lectures we have studied about the hydro power station uh, its uh, advantages and disadvantages its uh, constituent it has a uh, different like uh, hydraulic structures uh, electrical equipments and turbines so today we will uh, see some example related to hydro power station the first of uh, this example is that uh, we have a hydro electric generating station uh, supplied uh, from a reservoir of uh, capacity 5 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 6 cubic meter at a head of uh, 200 meters and we need to find the total energy available in kilowatt hour if the overall efficiency is 75 percent so we have uh, a hydroelectric generating station which is supplied from a reservoir of capacity this much in cubic meter and having a head of 200 meter its overall efficiency is 75 percent and we need to find the total energy available in kilowatt hour so first of all weight of water available is weight of water from W we denote it from W and it is equal to the volume of water multiplied by the density and remember that one meter cube of water is equal to 1000 kg so we have uh, this much of the volume of water in uh, cubic meter so we multiply it with 1000 and we got this much of water or what weight of water in kg then uh, its acceleration or falling from hat so that's why we multiply it with 9.81 gravitational force so we got the value of weight of water available then electrical energy available is equal to the weight of water available multiplied by the head of the water and the overall efficiency so this is the formula of electrical energy available we have the um, uh, uh, value of w that is 5 multiplied by 10 to the power 9 multiplied by 10 point uh, sorry multiplied by 9.81 newton and the head the value of hat given in the example is 200 meter and the overall efficiency is 0.75 or 75 percent so we well got watt second remember in the, the units now this is in watt second we need to calculate in kilowatt hour so second into hour and watt into kilowatt so that this equation will be look like this divided by 1000 because we add kilo k and uh, 3600 so we will convert it into hour by simplification we will got 2 point zero double four multiply by ten dash to power six kilowatt hour so this much energy will be available when we have the hydroelectric generating station having a capacity of this much in cubic meter and a head of two hundred meter and efficiency seventy five meters next uh, example is we have uh, another hydroelectric station water for hydroelectric station is obtained from a reservoir 
with a head of 100 meter, we need to calculate the electrical energy generated per hour per cubic meter of water at the hydraulic efficiency is uh, 0.86 or 86 percent and electrical efficiency is 92 percent or 0.92 so in this example we will calculate the electrical energy generated per hour per cubic meter of water and we have a head of 100 meter and the hydraulic and electrical efficiency of 0.86 and 0.92 so water hat is uh, that is given in the question is h is equal to 100 meter discharge q is 1 meter cube per second and the, this is the overall efficiency we multiply the hydraulic efficiency with the electrical efficiency so we got the overall efficiency similar in a similar way is we calculate the weight of water available per second in the last uh, example uh, we denote that from W and it is equal to the 1000 multiplied by 9.81 and with the discharge rate. In this example we take a discharge rate of 1 meter cube per second. In a previous uh, example this value is given. Now we got 98 in 10 newtons that is the weight of water available per second no power produced uh, that is the formula we have weight into head and, and overall efficiency so we got what the power produce or we can write it in the form of kilowatt 775 kilowatt then we uh, when we multiply it uh, we, we need to calculate per hour so energy generated per hour will be equal to 775 multiplied by 1 because we are calculating for 1 hour so 775 kilowatt hour of energy is generated per hour that is the required thing we need to calculate this is a simple example the hat is given that is 100 meter and we need to and the overall efficiency is given mean the hydraulic efficiency and the electrical efficiency from these two we calculate the overall efficiency and the discharge is uh, denoted from q and equal to one meter q per second why because we need to calculate the electrical energy generated per hour per cubic meter of water per cubic meter and per hour so that's why we take the discharge it per cubic meter <coughs> and the last example uh, is that the plant has an effective head of 15 meter and a overall efficiency of 85 percent if the plant operate on 40 percent load factor estimate or find the average daily discharge uh, the poundage required in the installed capacity of the proposed plant the weekly discharge of a typical hydroelectric power plant is as under then there Sunday we have 500 meter cube per second and the rest is Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday all were given so the weekly discharge of a uh, typical hydroelectric power plant is as this and the plant has an effective head of 15 meter and its efficiency overall efficiency is 85 percent if the plant operate on a 40 percent load factors what we need to calculate is the average daily discharge the first one is pretty simple and we have uh, we need to calculate the average uh, daily discharge that is adding these and divide by the number of days the second is poundage required how much uh, poundage uh, area is required and the third one is the install capacity of the proposed plants so let's see 
this is the days and the discharge rate graph in we have Sunday and Mondays and this all is the graph we can simply plot it from the given data its average value is 713 how we can this is our first part that is the average daily discharge is that is the value of uh, discharge rate at each day is simply 8 divided by 7 and we got 730 meter cube per second now it is uh, clear from this graph that these three days there is Sunday Monday and Saturday has a le less discharge rate that is 500 520 and 546 less from the average value that average value is 713 and the other four days has a more discharge rate than the average value so it is clear from the graph that on three days that is the Saturday Sunday and Monday the discharge is less than the average discharge we have the average discharge value is this so volume of water actually available on these three days there is Sunday Monday and Saturday we add uh, their values that is the 500 plus 520 plus 546 multiply by 24 because it is uh, each day have 24 hours and then in seconds uh, so 36 hundreds uh, meter cube then we got this value then the volume of water required on these three days is uh, what actually we required is the average value so three the total number of days then the average value or average daily discharge then multiply by 24 hours and in each hour we have this much seconds so this is another value so poundage required uh, how much water in a pound we need required or required uh, sorry required uh, in meter cube so the actual uh, requirement is 2139 minus 1566 multiplied by 24 in 3600 so we got the poundage required is 495 multiplied by 10 to the power 5 cubic meter this is the second part the third one is the installed capacity of the plant so for this purpose we need to calculate the weight of water available per second that is the W and it is equal to the average of the discharge per day multiply by 1000 in point sorry 9.81 newtons and the average power produced formula is the weight of wa available water multiply by head and the overall efficiency so 89,180 kilowatt is the average power produced now to find the installed capacity of the plant we need the output power that is 89.180 kilowatt hour divided by the load factor which is uh, 40% load factor so multiplied by 4 so we got uh, the installed capacity of the plant that is 223 megawatt so in this question we find the average daily discharge poundage required and install capacity of the proposed plant now some uh, thing related to this example is that the cubic meter or cubic meter is the SI derived unit of volume uh, for volume we use cubic meter it is uh, its uh, SI symbol is this that is cubic meter in power 3 it is the volume of a cube with each 1 meter in 
land. Another term related to this example is the load factor and it is defined as the ratio of the average load over a given period to the maximum demand that is the peak load occurring in that period. So the load factor is the ratio of the average load over a given period like uh, in 24 hour uh, each hour load and to the maximum demand peak load occurring in that period and the uh, peak that occur uh, throughout the day so this is the load factor it can be monthly load factor a daily load factor yearly load factor depend upon the duration of time and in other words the load factor is the ratio of the energy consumed in a given period of times of hours to the peak load which has occurred during that particular period so it is the load factor is the ratio of two things the one is the average load divided by the peak load and average load over given period to the maximum demand occurring in that period thank you